and honestly, I would like to change my opinion on this device. Hello everyone. In a video we, I made last year, I was very complimentary towards the Drag X, except for their coils in the PMP tank, uh, but that was before I got to try their new mesh coils. Uh, and now that I've finally gotten around to that, I want to dive in detail with the Bupu Drag X and all the different PMP coils you can use with it. Since the last video, I've gotten to try more than the two coils that came with it and the M2. I've got to try the VM4, 5, and 6 now. Uh, those all progress in wattage from 20 to 30, 40 to 60, and then 60 to 80. I've got the uh, VM5 in here now. Um, I did have a bad experience with the VM5 that came with it in the box, but that's not the first time that I've had a bad experience with a coil that came with it. Um, so I did try a separate VM5, an M2. I've tried a bunch of the different coils now. We don't have all of the coils that they offer, but we do have a good amount of them. Uh, flavor is way more prominent than it was with the one that came with it. The VM5 is great, it's a mesh coil. Um, I may have judged the PMP coils a little too harshly before I really put them through their paces. Uh, and since the previous video, with all these coil types, we thought we might break it down for you and make it a little easier for you to figure out which coil you want to use. So Vupu has come out with 13 coils in total that will fit the PMP tanks. Um, there's a wide variety of coil types, uh, wattage ranges, um, the, the coil types, you've got a single coil, there's dual coils, there's meshes, they also have a ceramic, uh, and a rebuildable deck that they offer. We don't have that just yet, but that is something we can get. Um, and then they have similar coils from one group to another. For example, the M2 is a single coil meant for 20 to 28 watts. The R2 is a dual coil that's meant for 10 to 15 watts. And then in the mesh, there's the TR1 coil, which is also meant for 10 to 15 watts. All three of those are salt coils. Uh, so you'd wanna use those with your 35, 50 milligram salt nick juice. In store, we do try and keep a good selection of these coils. We may not have all of the uh, PMP coil offerings, but we do have at least one from each wattage group. So we have at least one coil that you'll be able to use with your specific juice, whether that be salt, normally liquid, whichever route you prefer. This is a list of all the coils that we currently have in stock during the time of filming, at least. Uh, we've got a bunch of the meshes. We do have a couple of the single coils and dual coils as well. And I did mention before, but you can get a rebuildable deck for this as well. We don't have that in yet, but it, uh, minimum resistance is 0.25 with that. So you can't build below 0.25 from my understanding. Maximum is a two ohm. So you can, again, with the rebuildable, you can go salt nick or regular juice either way. They do have a ceramic coil as well. I haven't tried that yet, um, but it is on my list. I'm probably gonna ask a store to order a pack for me so I can give them a shot, see what the ceramic coils are really like. So personally, I usually prefer mesh coils and it is the same with this device. The dual coils aren't bad, but the mesh coils do give you a little bit more vapor production, definitely more flavor, which is my original complaint with it was there wasn't enough flavor. Uh, the, the mesh coils, the VM5 and the VM6 both, I really like the high wattage stuff. So being able to push that 60, 80 watt limit, lots of flavor, lots of vapor production. I, I, I like I said, I like these coils a lot. Um, when they first came out, it came with one of the VM5s, but I had a bad experience with it. Um, at least the one that came with it in the box. This VM5 is treating me a lot better. And honestly, I would like to change my opinion on this device. It has earned its way back into my pocket. One, the size, it's great to carry around. I really love the fact that it's got a changeable battery. Uh, never get any downtime with it then, like waiting for it to charge, like with the, the Drag S, that's their internal battery version of it, uh, which, which is nice, it is a little bit smaller, uh, but I'm willing to take the little bit bigger size for the changeable battery, because then I never have any downtime with it. Hopefully this video helped you figure out which PMP coil is best for you to use, whether you're using salt nick, regular juice, whatever strength you are using. If you do ever have any questions, feel free to ask our store employees. They'll be able to direct you towards which coil you should be using, with what juice and what strength you're using as well. If this video did help at all, please hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, check out this video here or consider subscribing up here. Thanks, we'll see you next time.